Hey guys, so today in honor of Mother's Day, I am going to be doing the mom tag with my mom, which your name is? I'm Leah. Mm -hmm. And you haven't really been in any videos. I don't think so. Before. No, just I'm like... I'm a newbie. Yep. So we have the questions here and I'm just going to ask them and she's going to answer them. So yeah, well, let's just get started. Question one is, what was I like as a child? Hmm. You were very fun-loving, adorable, um, adventurous. You loved to climb up the slide, and you were not afraid or cautious at all. Very adventurous and um, smiling all the time. Curious, very curious. Beautiful young child. Okay. Question two is, what do you think of me making YouTube videos? I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's a great idea, potential business opportunity for the future. The only thing that kind of scares me a little bit mm -hmm. is the all the people out there are not necessarily have have good attention intentions. Um, and I do kind of worry about you getting too focused on fashion and beauty as compared to other things that matter more than fashion and beauty. Question three is, what's something funny I did when I was younger? Hmm. Um, well, I would say a funny thing about you when you were younger. It's not necessarily something you did, but it was funny. Like, when you were born, your hair stuck up on top of your head like this, like a comb, like a rooster kind of comb. Mm -hmm. And it did that for like the first six months or nine months. So it was just cute. It was like you have Emma's hair just kind of like standing straight up like, woo! Did I do anything funny? I can't think of anything funny. You would make some funny faces sometimes. Like at the fairy party one time, remember you had this fairy party headband on that you had made with Susu, and you had just like this, like you were so excited, you had like this really silly face. It was like... Four is, have you learned anything about makeup slash beauty from me? Uh, definitely. You're definitely more into products than I am. I use the same products like every day, every day of my life. Most of the time. But um, I would say one of the things I've learned from you was just maybe keeping my face and eye makeup, removing it at the end of the day. Like last oh. week when we were at the hotel, I had to get up really early in the morning and I didn't want to wash my face and Emma's like, you should wash your face or you're going to end up with a swollen eye again. And sure enough, I, did. <laughs> I woke up the next morning and I had a swollen eye. So just doing better maybe routine at night washing my face. Okay, mm -hmm. question five is, what's a weird habit of mine? Weird habit. Well, it's a newer habit that I, that comes to mind, oh. is chewing ice. She's just started chewing ice, like mm -hmm. nonstop, like in the car, at the table, in her room. You hear the ice maker. I go to get ice, I like my ice cubed. She gets ice and she likes it crushed. It's like easier to fit in It's easier to fit in your mouth and chew. So that's a weird habit. She's been chewing ice like all day long lately. Mm -hmm. Question six is if you had to rename your daughter, what would you name her? I have no idea. I mean, you're Emma. Right, so you wouldn't. I don't think I'd rename you. You're Emma Catherine and it's like a family name and I can't think of any name I would want to rename you too. I like it. Question seven is when you guys go out to eat, what does she order? What do you order? What do I order? Caesar salad. A huge Caesar salad with a side of french fries as large as possible and an ice water. Yep. <laughs> okay, yeah. Eight is what is one thing you wish you would do? One thing I wish she would do would be to speak more kindly to her siblings, to her brother and to her sister and even to me and dad to speak more kindly, to think before she speaks and to speak kindly. She's not always so sweet as she appears on the videos. That's true. That's true. At least I accept it. Question nine is what's something I do that annoys you? She can be really stubborn at the dinner table. Basically refusing to say please and thank you. Pass a napkin for the salt and pepper. It's very simple. May I please have the salt, Mom? Julia, may I please have a napkin? But no. She doesn't do that. That really annoys me. Question 10 is what's something I obsess over? Ooh, what's something I obsess over? Um, 
I don't know, maybe I, maybe beauty, makeup, and fashion. I'm not that obsessive though. I know, well, I can't really think of anything that you obsess over. Yeah, like, like obsess, I think, unless it's there, like, it's not always a good thing. Because you're too into it. Yeah. So, I, her iPad, that may be something more, the iPad. Um, I can't really think of anything that you obsess yeah, over. Yeah, I don't really obsess over anything. Yeah, I know. That's good, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obsession's not good. Mm -hmm. 11 is, where would you like to see me in 10 years? Ooh, 10 years, you'll be almost 25 and a half. Um, I'd like you to be a young woman who is full of faith and love and joy, enjoying life. Um, I think, Dad, we got married when we were 23, so you could be married, and we had our first child at 25. So you could be married with children. But I'd like you to be continuing to enjoy life and be an educated young woman and with good friends to support you, family to support you. Twelve is when were you most proud of me? Hmm. Well, there's lots of times I would say I was proud of you. You yeah, the most. The most proud time. Um, recent thing I can think of would be when you were babysitting for um, Sophia and Gabrielle. And Julia and I came over, and you were kind of you were kind of showing Julia what to do, and we were there. And you were did a great job just being in charge with Sophia, who's three or three, who didn't want to listen and do what she was supposed to do. But you did a really great job, so I was really proud in you taking authority and being a responsible babysitter. Which I think that means that you will be a responsible mother with me. Okay. When you're a mother. 13 is, what's the worst thing I've ever done? The worst thing you've ever done? I mean, I can't think of a terrible thing that you've ever done besides being rude to your sister and to your brother and to your father and I. Um, I can't think of a worst thing you've ever done. Can you hear anything? No. Is there anything you want to tell I'm me? I'm a pretty good child. She's a pretty good child. <laughs> 14 is, what's your favorite moment of us together? Hmm. Or like memory. Moment, memory. Well, something recent. I mean, I think we have a lot of fun times together, just the two of us hanging out. And the last time I'm thinking of when we went to go see um, Pride and Prejudice, Ugh. it was showing at a local playhouse by us, and Emma had just finished studying that for her comp and lit class. And we went to the show, we went out to lunch and went to the park and walked around, took some fun pictures, and then went to the show, and it was just fun, just, we hung out for like five hours, probably. Six hours, just the two yeah. of us, and that was that was a lot of fun. So that's my that's my most recent fun okay. moment together. How was I in school, how, or like am? How are you in school? I think yeah. you're a pretty good student. I don't think you apply yourself like you could. I think you're much more intelligent than you let on because you just try to get your work done as quickly as possible and move on to making YouTube videos. Um, so I think um, that you're a good student and you have lots of potential to be a better student if you want. And next year she has some tough teachers who are going to challenge her to be a better student. 16. What would you change if you could raise me again? Hmm, a lot a of lot things. Of yes. You learn a lot as a parent, things you would do and wouldn't do. And I would think we. I would think as you guys got to be a little bit older, we didn't have as much fun. We didn't do as many field trips. No. We used to do a lot of fun field trips and painting and dancing and singing. And I think it. I think that's more of a little kid thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I think we could continue that as we got older, but we kind of let that go to focus on more serious things like schoolwork. And so I think I, that's one of the things I would do again is that we would have more fun, do more fun field trips and stuff together, and have more fun together. Okay. And then the last question is, describe my perfect type of guy. Uh, dad. Somebody like, somebody like Dad. Someone who loves you for who you are, who treats you like um, a princess, who accepts you with your flaws and knows that um, you're not going to be perfect and you're going to make mistakes. Someone, of course, who is incredibly handsome, too like your dad, and um, someone who loves and appreciates us as your parents, 
right? A young man who is honorable, respectful, a man of integrity, um, a man who is truthful, yeah, and loves you for who you are. Okay. Okay, so that was the mom tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and you guys can thumbs up if you want more videos with her. <laughs> and yeah, bye.